Hi, if you are using Zira to manage your project, sometimes if you want to export some the data into some Excel or CSV file, or even you want to create some report, so you can write the script to filter the data in Zira system. So in this video today, I will guide you how to write the script to show all issues ever assigned to a user in your Zira project. Okay, let's get started. Assuming this is Zira project I'm working on. Basically here, you can see we have 82 tickets in this project here. So now I want to write the JQL script to filter all of the tickets who are assigned to the CNV8. Okay, so here, let me switch it to basic option. And I want to select the project e ITFM sample space. And the assignee, I will select the CNV8 here. And then I will submit it to the JQL. In order to filter the data in the Zira, we have two ways. The first one is using the basic. We can select the data in some drop down list or even in free texture. The second way is the, by using the JQL query. If you are already familiar with the SQL server, so I think it would be easier for you to write the JQL script in Zilla system. Okay. So here, if you take a look into the query, we have the assignee in. This is my account, GNV8. And you take a look into the search result. We have five tickets assigning to the TNVS. Okay. However, you see here, I will open the tab number one. And if I change the assignee to other people, for example, to unassign people, and then come back to the search box, search again. Yeah. And you see, for now, the user TNVS only have four tickets. It is a five ticket. Okay. However, I want to create a script to generate all of the tickets ever assigned to TNV8 before. So it should be this way five ticket here. It is a four ticket here. That means the current query here is incorrect for my situation. I have to do some modification for this script here. And here we have a side Google, yeah, Google in. Okay. And then click on search. Yeah. After that, you see here, after I update the query by including the Google in the Google for the assignee, you see here, we can see five tickets because the that one here already assigned to me before. However, at this time, for example, I already complete the task and I already assign it to other people in my team for review. So it does not belong to me for now. Yeah. Okay. Let me try to open this one. And here, even I will change this one to other people in my team. So again, I still see the file in this up for. Okay. Let me come back to the Advanced, I want to see other ticket. For example, this one. I still not assign to anyone in my project here. Yeah. I will assign it to me right now. The ticket is 20, right? Back to this one, 30 here. Yeah. So for now, we have one more ticket, 20. Have it added into the search result here. Yeah. I will do the same thing for the ticket. 20, I change it to other people, and back to the third year, I still see the six ticket. Okay, let me duplicate this one, and I will try to remove the words in the query, so it, yeah, only three ticket, yeah, but in the past, 
I have already six tickets assigned to me. You can go to the ticket chanty and go to the history. Yeah. And you see here in history from the other side, I already assigned it to Chien Viet. And after that from Chien Viet, I already assigned it to other side people. Yeah. Okay. That means in the past, this ticket will belong to Chien Viet for a while. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to do filter for multiple people, you can enter here, comma, and enter the name. For example, I have the, this one. Yeah. When you select any name of the user, show it when using the ID of the user here. Click on search button. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think that's all. After you finish this video, you know how to try the query. I mean the JQL query to filter all of the issues or the tickets who are ever assigned to any person in the team. Of course, you can also try the query to filter with multiple person at one time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.